So looking at giving a grade, because listen, it's mandatory that we give grades in preseason and postseason and grades for the season overall, right? Like it's one of those sports talk types of things that we do. I think when you look at the totality of the moves that I'm going to give the Falcons a B plus grade. Okay. I think that their number one is the guys re-signing, extending Lindstrom, Caleb McGarry in the mix, Keith Smith, right? Bradley Pinion. Like those are all good signings to bring those guys back. And obviously Lindstrom was going to be here, but getting Caleb McGarry for the deal that they got him for. I love having Brandon, uh, Bradley Pinion, you know, locked up as our punter. So our punter and our kicker are locked up and we don't have to worry about those kinds of things. Okay. Now let's talk about the, the free agent moves and stuff like that. We, we saw Taylor Heineke get signed yesterday. I like that move because you give competition to Desmond Ritter. And while I do think that Desmond Ritter, and, and this will be interesting if anybody asks Arthur Smith is, Hey, are you ready to proclaim Desmond Ritter QB1 now? Can that question be asked by somebody? Can, can my producer Jarvis or Zeno or somebody like that, can they ask Can they ask Coach Smith if you know he's ready to be QB1? Because that's the one thing we haven't heard from both the owner and the coach when it comes to Desmond Ritter. So with Heineke in the fold, you feel like that if they have to play Heineke because Desmond Ritter gets hurt or something like that, you're not falling off a cliff. All right, Heineke was 5-3-1 and one last year. So you don't feel like you're falling off a cliff if it's a Chad Henney or, you know, a, a Baker Mayfield or somebody like that. You don't feel like you're going to completely fall off a cliff. So I like all of that. As far as the free agents go, right, Ellis is the real wild card because he's had one good season out of four. And he's been basically a backup, okay? He got a chance to play more in this one year last year. And he, and he, you know, had seven sacks and 11 starts, okay? But he's going to be the wild card as to whether or not he can match that production. Because you know what his other three years were? They were one sack total. So he's got eight career sacks, and seven of them came in one year. And just for craps and giggles, he's older than Miles Garrett, okay? How many sacks Miles Garrett got? About 1,000? So he's a real wild card as far as what his production can be. And, and maybe that with the style of defense that they play, maybe he's going to be more of an edge player. We'll see what ends up happening. But if he can match his production from last year, then that's a really, you know, that's a really good pickup for the Falcons. Um, you know, Onyemata, listen, I, I like that signing. Um, I, I wanted, obviously, Javon Hargrave, you know, and, and I've gotten into all kinds of Twitter arguments with people about with Javon Hargrave, and you, okay, he's a game record now. He's got 18 and a half sacks the last two years, okay? Forget what he did in Pittsburgh. Right now, he's a game record. Well, he played with a lot of good guys. I, I don't care. Don't, don't we want to have a lot of those guys? Don't we want to have a lot of guys? But anyway, so I, I like Onyemata. Uh, I, I think that he is a really solid pickup, and he's got some pass rush ability. You know, and listen, if you can have Grady and Onyemata and, and they can come up with 10 to 12 sacks, you know, again, we talk about how do we get to 40 sacks, okay? How do we get to 40 sacks? H how are we going to get ourselves to 40? Okay, well, if I can get, you know, 10 or 12 from that interior, I can have Abby Katie step up, I can have this, I can have that, bada beep, bada boop, bada boop, right? So that's the number. How do we get to 40 sacks? By the way, the last 14 Super Bowl participants have averaged 43 and a half sacks. So not just the winners, but the runner up for the Super Bowl, 14, the last 14 Super Bowl participants have averaged 43 and a half sacks. Now, look, Bates is certainly the big splash free agent signing. OK, again, I like the guy. I, I am not as enamored about the position when we've dumped the bulk of our free agent money in a guy that doesn't sack the quarterback. And by the way, and I've joked about this, how many sacks are you going to get? Well, last year he had none and he had one quarterback hit. And I say that just because we well, we needed to upgrade and safety. Okay. But but again, you still haven't completely fixed the things that you're deficient at. When when people come to me about this, 
Well, well, why haven't we won in five years? You haven't won in five years because you don't do the things that a winning organization does. That's why you haven't won in five years. Because you're not great at quarterback, not great offensive line, not great defensive line. You, you don't do the three things that win every time in the NFL. Tried and true every time in the NFL. So that's why, again, you know why we have lots of capital spend? Because we haven't drafted well. And we haven't had a lot of guys we've had to re-sign to second and third contracts and stuff. So have the Falcons improved? Absolutely. Absolutely. Their roster is better. Again, you should be in free agency. When you've got that kind of money to spend, I hope that you would be better in free agency. But I give it a solid B plus when you look at the totality of the moves. I especially like the guys that they brought back. I especially like some of the you know smaller pieces that you did. Did you overpay in some areas? Yeah, you probably over, well, you certainly overpaid for Ellis. You probably overpaid for Jesse Bates by giving him the fourth highest contract for a safety. But again, if those guys can ball out, you've got the money to spend. They still have $31 million. I don't know that they're going to make any kind of splashy hire. I think the two things, and whether you do this through the draft or whether you sign more guys, obviously edge and obviously left guard. That's the two things that you've got to still accomplish, whether it's through free agency or the draft. And again, you can't have too many edge players. Why were why did the, the Eagles get to 70 sacks? Because they had 29 guys that could sack the quarterback. Right? They didn't have one or two. They had 15 guys that could sack the quarterback. You know what I want for this team? 15 guys that can sack the quarterback. Actually, you know what? I'm going to change it. You, the, 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 the Eagles had 15 guys who can sack the quarterback. You know what I want from this team? 21 guys that can sack the quarterback. You do that and you'll be a playoff team, okay? R regardless of how great Desmond Ritter is or is not or whatever, if he can be competent and he can be at least an average quarterback, you get me 70 sacks, I'll be in the Super Bowl mix when all is said and done. So I'll give the Falcons a B-plus overall for what they've done. I think they've really done some good things, improving all facets of where they have to be. But let's see that edge player come in here, whether it's free agent or draft, and make that real difference on this team. All right, let's talk about our friends over at Built Bar. Listen, we're all trying to get a little healthier, right? New me, new year. We're trying to eat better and clean up our diet and all those kinds of things. So if you like the snack and you're looking for a boost, where whether you're going for a workout or whatever like that, Built Bar has got you covered. So you're looking low carb, low sugar, low calorie. Built Bar has got it where 130 calories, 4 grams of sugar, but 17 grams of protein. And so whether you go the traditional just protein bar route or you get the protein-infused marshmallow puffs, you have lots of different options to you. So go to Built.com today. Check out their wide selection and wide menu of products. Or now you can go to the pharmacy section of Walmart, pick you up a box of Built Bars there. Or now you can also head to Sam's Club and pick you up a box of Built Bars. So whether you want to go the brick and mortar route or whether you want to go online, you can get your box of Built Bars today. Check them out, Built.com, Walmart, or Sam's Club.